really quick, um, I wanted to answer a few more questions. So here's here's a couple questions. Um, number one, where do you buy most of your babies from? I don't. I mostly paint my own babies now. Um, two, where do you buy most of your silicone babies from? I don't. I mostly am painting my own silicone right now. But where do I buy most of my kits from? Reborns, I buy from a number of sculptors. So let me name a couple. Um, Bonnie Brown, Natalie Blick, um, Claire Teller, Laura Tudoros, Marita Winters, Laura Lee Eagles, um, Audrey Stoletti, Olga Ara. Mm. Who else is in my collection? Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Um, that looks like oh, Gudrun Legler. Those are reborn sculptors that I've bought from. Um, oh, Don McLeod. I really like her stuff um, lately. Um, who else? Um, okay, so then silicone babies. Most of my kits that I've painted have been... Um, so I've painted kits from... Most of the time, my go-to is... It has been actually Claire Teller um, dolls. Um, Lillian Breville. Um, I have painted, um, Kristen Ingert, I've painted, um, I've painted a couple, but I'm usually going to whoever is accessible to me, so I don't have, like, one in particular. It's whatever my eye catches and that I can afford, um, that, you know what I mean? that I think that the silicone will be nice to paint. I am excited about painting um, one one in particular. Hopefully, I'll get it at some point. I gotta pay it off. I'm doing a layaway. It, 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 oh, it burns me to do layaway, but I'm getting used to it. It's a good thing. So, um, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to painting that particular baby. Um, you guys will see soon. But, um, how a lot of people ask, like, how do I get a baby from you? Like, do you do customs? So, do you do customs? Do you do private orders? Let me tell you the difference between a custom and a private order. A private order is you pick the kit and the ethnicity. Is that the word? No, I don't know. So, you pick the kit and you say, I want it to be black, white, in between, you know? <laughs> and, um, that's it. That's the private order. That's it. Custom is I want it to be this shade, that shade, or like this, or like that, this color hair, da 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 da, and the kit. I don't do either anymore. I used to do private. Occasionally, I will do a private order for some customers that I've had, I've done business with that hadn't been that hard. To work with but um, right now and I'll be honest with you if you were a little challenging to work with I'm not gonna tell you that because I don't want to hurt your feelings and I don't want no hard feelings and plus I don't want you to be mad with me and then nobody in my body now baby so I ain't gonna tell you that I'm gonna be like <laughs> let me stop okay for real but no um Honestly, I don't pref I prefer not to. I prefer to just paint. I prefer to just paint and um look, that's Phoebe. I prefer to just paint the babies and just put them up for sale cuz it allows me to be as free and creative and it doesn't slow me down. When I paint customs or um private babies, it 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 takes me like 5 times longer. To paint because I have to question everything I'm doing because I'm like, if I mess this this person baby up, I'm gonna be in trouble. So I just prefer to do those. Um, where do I list my babies? Um, I was doing eBay from time to time, but mostly I sell. You know, I'll just 
you know, put it up on Facebook or, um, I'll put them up on Facebook. I'll put them up on, um, I put them up on Facebook. I put them up on Instagram. I have a website, um, a blog website. I'm using it as a blog website, not like a storefront, because I like to just blog. It's called um, MissRenneBabies.com, but I will mention there when I have a new baby as well. Um, what are my price ranges? I get that a lot. So the price ranges vary. It, I mean, from doll to doll, from kid to kid, from medium to medium, it varies. Um, I mean, I usually typically sell a ball baby around $800 and with hair anywhere from $1,050 and up. But I have been known to sell lower than that from, you know, $575, $675, you know, on up. So it can vary. Um, I sold, you know, silicone babies um, already ready and rooted. $1,500 on up. Um, typically that won't happen because the kit itself usually costs at least a silicone baby kit in today's world usually is going to cost you almost $2,000 alone. So there's no way that I could sell a silicone baby for, you know, $2,000 if the kit costs $2,000 cuz then I'm not making no money off of painting or rooting or anything like that. So um yeah. So that's that. Um, so yeah, so my price range has changed. Um, do I root my own baby? So I root my own silicone most of the time. Um, I do not usually, I usually don't root my own vinyl. Who roots for me? I'm not disclosing my rooter anymore because now, you know, it's like every time I do that, she gets booked up and I can't use her when I need her. So scratch that um so if you know you know but my um I am going to start rooting um some of my smaller heads in vinyl in a matter of time I'm practicing now so that I can do that so that I can save time and you know money and you know with the shipping out and all that stuff and more so for my personal self but, um, yeah, normally I don't. Um, what type of box openings do I do? Typically, my babies come home with two new outfits, a new blanket, a pacifier, pampers, and their COA if they had one, and a little certificate thing for me saying that they came from my nursery. Um, uh... Care instructions for the silicone babies. I'm working on probably doing care instructions for the reborns, but I haven't did that yet. And I really wasn't doing the care instructions for silicone babies so much because I wasn't really planning on selling, like selling, selling. But um, so a lot of stuff is kind of like developing as I go because I didn't expect to paint as much as I've been painting. Okay. So um, what else? I work full-time I'm a full-time mom and so painting is like my second it's my hobby and like a second stream of income um, will I do customs ever again is probably gonna be a no but I may start doing them on reborns once I finish these customs and get a few babies that I want to paint out, I may take a custom on Reborns here and there. I will not paint another Cody Bear by Laura Tudor Ross because I did the prototype and I want that prototype to be special to that mommy. And so I will be doing a Cody Bear for me for my personal collection only. Um, and that baby will never leave me unless I go to a family member or something. It will not leave to go into the community. Um, uh, prototypes. If I do a prototype, which I doubt I'll get a lot of prototype opportunities, but, um, I have had a few and the last one was very quite surprising, which actually ended up being two prototypes in from one sculptor. Um, 
I do have to make those priorities. So if I'm working on a baby for you, I do have to put that baby. I have to kind of work still. I may still work on your baby, but it will slow it down because I do prototypes is time sensitive. And I do have to take advantage of those opportunities and do those babies for those sculptors. Um, I'm not opposed to doing more prototypes. I just, you know, it's just not something that I'm like throwing myself out. I see a lot of posts, you know, where people are saying like, post your work if you want to be a prototype artist for me or show this and show that I'm not one of the ones that just like run and throw my work out there. For one, I'm a bit, still a bit like, um, I'm not going to say insecure, but self-conscious or not like thinking I'm all that to where I should be throwing myself out there for prototype opportunities. But, um, so I don't like self-nominate myself. I'm still kind of old fashioned and feel like the, the sculptor should approach people. If they see my work and it stands out to them and they like it, then they will reach out to me. Um, cause also I, I still believe that prototype artists should be someone that's great at, at marketing the kit as well as you know you know presenting it in a way that will make other collectors and artists want to paint the kit or have the kit in their collection so that's my spill on prototypes um um next giveaway next giveaway is gonna come up once I'm kind of trying to figure it all out. That's why I keep asking questions about what you guys want to see, what kit you want to see me paint for a giveaway, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Because while I'm working and finishing up these two last customs, and well, three technically it's three because I have to finish rooting, I have to root Finn. So while I'm doing that, I'm also thinking of what baby I'm going to paint, and I want to have that baby painted by the time I do a get you know, say, you know, put up an official giveaway video. It will require work from you guys. It will be a giveaway that will be helping me build my exposure. So it will be one of those same type, share my video, like and subscribe type things, or even join my channel chatterbox or whatever. You know, I... I would love to be like, oh, I'm paying it back. No, I, I don't want to tell you guys those, you know, those commercial, you know, reasons. I want to tell you the truth. I want, I'm giving you something, but I want you guys to support me and be, I, I want my, if I'm going to give away my work, I want it to go to a fan, if that makes sense. And I don't want to say fan like, oh, she's a, who is she? She's a celebrity, she's a fan out. But I want to say a fan in a good way or a subscriber or because I, I mean, I don't want to say follower. So it's like, uh, I don't know what, what, what should I call? I want to give it to a Lola. How about that? I want to give it to a true Lola that loves peeping in my freaking window. I love y'all nosy people. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let me go. That's it. Bye. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go.